Hey guys, what's up? It's Marcy, and today we're going to be testing one of the famous infomercial new products, I guess you could say, and that product is the Air Curler. So for those of you that don't watch infomercials late at night or don't know, it's basically a contraption that you attach to your blow dryer, and not only do you get dry hair, but you get these bouncy beach style curls uh, in the time it takes to blow your hair. So it's supposed to have long lasting curls and it's supposed to dry and curl your hair at once and basically save you a whole bunch of time and hassle. Um, I actually was interested in this product. I was looking at reviews. I saw a bunch of reviews passed and a bunch of reviews failed it. And then one day I was in my local dollar store and I saw it for a dollar. So I couldn't even pass it up. I had to try it for myself. So first off, um, I'm going to show you how to put this thing together. So you will need your blow dryer. I just have a crappy Conair blow dryer that doesn't really matter. And then you get this band, this plastic band, this, I don't know if you can see it, I'm not going to take it out because it was kind of a pain, this funnel, and the, the air curler itself, and this. So here's how you're supposed to put this together. If you have a smaller uh, nozzle on your hair dryer, they want you to put this band on to keep it in place and to stop any air from getting loose. So we're going to do that quick. It should look somewhere around like that. And then we want to put the nozzle in. And that's going to block any extra air from escaping. With this, this actually comes separate. You have to push it through. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's two little notches. One that pushes the air right and one that pushes the air left and that will decide what direction your curl goes in. I will say the only thing that sucks about this is if you want to change the direction of your curl so it's not going in all in one direction, you would literally have to take this apart and change it. And I'm not going to do that. It would make something that's supposed to be 15 minutes an hour, and it's just not worth it to me. So that is uh, one of the cons I saw in this. Uh, so we're going to put it to this one. And then all you all you have to do really is push this over, stick it in like so, and that's it. There's your air curler. So with that, we're going to start doing this. As you can see, I've already showered. My hair is already wet. Uh, your hair is supposed to be at least damp or sprayed down to be wet uh, to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about an inch worth of hair or so, an inch or two. You want to make sure that your blow dryer is on medium heat and on medium speed or whatever it is, not high. If you do it on high, it is not going to work. Uh, so medium heat, medium speed. And as you can see, it's twirling around in there. And they tell you to do it for about 20 seconds or so. And about halfway through, they tell you to push the medium heat down to cool heat. So I'm just doing that right now. And then I'm going to push it back up to medium. And then we'll shut it off. And, as you can see, I mean, that was kind of a crappy layer that I pulled out, but as you can see, we have some spiral curls. So, usually, when I do this, I'll just um, either put mousse in my hair beforehand, which I didn't today, just because I was in a rush, or um, sp spritz it with hairspray afterwards, and it, it holds pretty much throughout the day. I'm not going to do my whole head for this, because it would take forever, just because I have super, super thick hair. Um, but I will try a longer piece for you guys, just so you guys can see. And let's see, we'll go about, about there. So this is a pretty long and a pretty thick piece of hair. And we're going to, it's hard to do it looking in the camera, sorry. We're going to stick it in the air curler. And we're going to turn the air curler on medium heat and medium 
And let me just show you what happens if you put it on high heat. It kind of can start going out of control and actually push it out of the cup. So that's why they recommend that you put it on medium instead of high. And then we'll put it back down. And then switch down to cool because the cool, suppose, according to the instructions, the cool is what actually makes it keep the curl. And that should be about good and shut it off and voila now like I said I didn't put any styling product in so it's a little wispy and frizzy uh, as opposed to what it would normally be but as you can see I got a pretty decent curl out of that and if like I said if you just put some mousse in beforehand or spritz with hairspray afterwards it'll stay the whole day so for the people that failed it on YouTube, I'm not sure if they just didn't read the instructions and aren't doing it on the right heat and the right speed or not or what's going on. But for $1, this thing's pretty much a lifesaver for me, especially because my hair is so thick and damaged. Um, I get it dried and I get it curled in 15 minutes. So just wanted to pass that little tidbit of information along to everyone. Air curler works. Well, that's it for this episode. Now you guys know what the air color is, how it works, how it's supposed to work, and what it can do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. If there's anything you guys would like me to do in the near future, uh, just comment right below, and uh, I'll get working on it. Thanks, guys. See you later.